Soldiers of Libya's provisional government inched their way deeper into the town of Sirt, one of the last remaining stronghold of Muammar Gaddafi loyalists. The attackers are said to be only half a mile from the center of the city, encountering fierce resistance. Meanwhile, it's back to school in Tripoli after a summer the youngsters will never forget. Elizabeth Palmer has more. It may look to the students of Almrud's primary school like the same old classrooms and the same old desks. But make no mistake, says Najla Albishti, an English teacher, everything has changed. What used to be there? Uh, Mamar's Gaddafi's uh, picture. It was a big one, eh? Yes, it was a big one. At morning assembly, other symbols of Gaddafi's power are gone too. The national anthem is new and so is the flag. For the past six months, these kids have witnessed Libyans fighting Libyans in a civil war. Now Najla's 11-year-old daughter, Roya, tells her classmates, we must plant the seed of forgiveness. But it may be a little too soon for that. The school principal, a Gaddafi supporter, is not among the returning staff. He was told not to show up. For 42 years, Libyans were force-fed Gaddafi's bizarre teachings in his speeches. Now they have a choice. They can't reject it fast enough. The special room set aside for the student Gaddafi fan club has been trashed. A rug in the hall with Gaddafi's head on it is trampled daily. It all feels like a kind of exorcism. Somehow inside us, yeah. Yeah, we are still afraid. We still feel that Gaddafi is here. The kids, though, are moving on. Asked by Najla to recite a Gaddafi poem everybody once had to memorize, they balk. But they didn't want to say it. Finally, one little girl agrees. Although clearly she and her classmates think it's nonsense, with absolutely no bearing on either their lives or their future. Elizabeth Palmer, CBS News, Tripoli.